welcome to BIC's series of wedding and dispersing training modules, in which we discuss the benefits of different chemistries. I'm your host, Michelle Gabriel Caldwell. This presentation will focus on fatty acid chemistry. Fatty acid chemistry is the benchmark for inorganic pigment dispersions. It is our oldest chemistry of wetting and dispersing additives, but that doesn't mean it is out of the game. On the contrary, new additives based on fatty acid continue to have their place in the technology of pigment dispersions. These additives are very unique, but simple designs that hold their own and more. They can be monofunctional with a pigment affine group and an adophallic portion for steric stabilization. Or they can be polyfunctional with a hydrogen bonding formation to provide a network of control flocculation. It really is based on the stabilization choice of the formulator. Flocculation is never desired, but control flocculation still provides separation of particles for improved benefits. Whereas true deflocculation completely separates to the primary particle. This is important to understand when evaluating the settling properties of pigmented coatings. Flocculated pigments have a soft settling tendency, depending upon the pigment size and coating medium. Comparing apples to apples, we see that the same pigments in the same system using a controlled flocculation additive provides less settling. Complete deflocculation has a negative side effect of hard pack settling. Since each particle now is independent in the system, and is stabilized to remain separate. This is all in direct relationship to the viscosity of the pigment grind and the shear rate. What are the pros and cons? Control flocculation may have gloss reduction, but imparts the exotropy in the system and provides anti-settling and anti-sag. But this isn't complete pigment separation so some of the grinding mechanisms or wetting aspects may be lessened. Also, you may see a little color differences that might be sacrificed as well. But overall, we see these are excellent for functional coatings. Deflocculation is the perfect solution for great aesthetic coatings. Lower viscosity, with excellent flow behavior, but the con here is the hard pack settling. Remember that these historic additives still have their place in the sun. The selection process should be based on the pigments and the coating's needs. So inorganic pigments are large in particle size with small surface areas. Therefore, monofunctional additives like fatty acid chemistries are best suited for those purposes. Since organics and carbon black are literally the opposite of inorganics in terms of size and surface chemistry, fatty acid chemistries are probably not best suited for those choices. A general reminder that compatibility is key when selecting wetting and dispersing additives. We often ask everyone to please check the additives before spending time in the grinding phase. This ensures that you have proper pigment wetting and stabilization mechanisms for your needs. Noting that any discoloration, any sedimentation, or any floating is a sure sign of incompatibility like we see here. Most fatty acid wetting and dispersing additives are for solvent-based systems due to the timeline in which they were created. However, BIC is fully aware of the aqueous coatings needs and as such, we have developed 
a control flocculating additive with these environmentally friendly coatings in mind. Antiterra 250. Now aqueous coating systems can also benefit from anti-sag, anti-settling, and anti-syneresis. We also see enhanced corrosion resistance properties as well. In addition, we see long-term storage stability with reduced cyteresis. Using a combination of wetting and dispersing additives with a standalone rheology modifier, we see some negative effects on the flow and leveling. But using Antiterror 250 shows excellent leveling compared to standard deflocculation additives by themselves. Whether you're working in solvent or aqueous systems, Simple chemistries like fatty acid have their place in our flagship of products, particularly when working with inorganics. Thank you so much for joining me. Please test your knowledge with our quiz and peruse the additional resources and special interview on the subject of fatty acid chemistry. Goodbye.